Hello everybody, my name is Andrei Panferov, and today I would like to tell you about our work Extreme Compression of Large Language Models via Additive Quantization. This work is aimed at addressing the issue of growing inaccessibility of state-of-the-art large language models by reducing the hardware requirements to run them. Recently, large language models have improved dramatically in terms of their performance and capabilities. However, their use and deployment is costly in the sense that powerful LLMs require multiple high-end GPUs to inference and do not fit into consumer-grade GPUs, effectively locking people out of using them. As such, there exists an increasing demand in model compression, a technique aimed at reducing the hardware requirements of large language models. Model compression mostly aims to reduce models' memory footprint, as LLMs are notorious for their higher parameter count. Model size in gigabytes is detrimental to determining whether a workstation can run a certain LLM or not. Multiple techniques have emerged aimed at reducing the effective LLM size, including pruning, quantization, and other parameter-efficient representations for model weights. By and large, the most popular of those is post-training quantization, which aims to reduce memory footprint of already fully trained LLMs by rounding their weights to a specific finite grid, thus achieving lower bit width for the weights. It is so popular, in fact, that post-training quantization has become de facto the default way to inference large language models locally, with most popular frameworks supporting it in one way or another, providing the means to quantize models and to serve quantized models. The prior work has shown that LLMs can be successfully quantized down to 3 bits per weight with relatively minor drops in performances. However, 3 bit quantization doesn't suffice to run state of the art open source models and can have around 70 billion parameters or more on consumer GPUs that have up to 24 GB of DRAM. Previously existing methods for 2 to 3 bit quantization led to dramatic performance degradation, which nullified any benefits from using larger models. As such, there exists demand for post training quantization methods capable of compressing large language models down to 2 to 3 bit per weight range while retaining most of their performance. Enter a QLM. AQLM adopts ideas from prior work on quantization in the context of nearest neighbor search optimization. Firstly, together with some other contemporary LLM quantization techniques, QLM uses vector quantization, meaning that a multi-dimensional grid is used opposed to one-dimensional grids of simpler quantization methods. Secondly, the quantization grid itself is dynamically optimized to minimize the quantization error. To be more specific, AQLM builds upon the method of the additive quantization proposed by Babenka and co-authors in their Additive Quantization for Extreme Vector Compression paper. To apply those ideas to LLM quantization, one must first come up with a way to represent linear weights that compose up to 90% of all model weights in LLMs using additive quantization. A linear layer matrix is represented as a two-dimensional concatenation of vectors, each of which is represented as a sum of a certain number of specific learnable vectors, their set referred to as codebooks, selected by corresponding codes. On the figure on the slide, we can see the encoding scheme that goes from right to left as follows. For a specific block, highlighted in blue, we take the corresponding integer codes. We use each code to encode a selection of a specific vector from the corresponding codebook, selection highlighted in red. Finally, we sum up the selected vectors to obtain an approximation of the block's original matrix. Having defined the representation, we formulate the optimization objective as per linear layer output mean square error minimization. We use samples from the red pajama dataset to produce representative layer inputs and outputs to minimize distortion on. We optimize mean square error with respect to both codebooks, a continuous optimization problem that we solved with ADAM, and codes, a discrete optimization problem that we solved with beam search. For a single linear layer, we iterate codes optimization and codebooks optimization until mean square error converges. Moreover, we propose a novel technique of quantized fine-tuning for additional quantization error mitigation. If we take a look at the single transformer block, like in Lama 2, for example, it contains seven linear layers. One could book for each linear layer in our main setup. Quantized with AQLM, it now has more than 100 million trainable parameters, mostly in form of codebooks. With that in mind, we propose to fine-tune whole transformer blocks to mitigate quantization error on a level beyond single linear layers. We apply Adam SGZ and standard backpropagation to again minimize output mean square error, but this time for multiple layers at a time. We applied the QLM to a number of LLMs, including Lama 2 models, and here are the results we got. 
QM outperforms all previous and can carry to extreme quantization methods, attaining significantly smaller performance drops in terms of both perplexity and zero-shot model performance. For the 7 billion parameters Lemma 2 model, compressed to 2 bits per weight, it showed an almost 50% smaller rise in perplexity than Quipsharp, the best of the 2-bit quantization methods available at the time. QLM has proved to be very versatile in terms of hyperparameter selection, such as codebook size and their number allowing for a quantization not only to 2-bit per weight, but to a large spectrum of bit width. We investigated different AQLM setups, resulting in 2-4 bits per weight, and demonstrated AQLM's dominance over other methods on almost the entirety of that range. Moreover, comparing AQLM's performance across different bit widths and model sizes, we have come to the conclusion that AQLM is the first method optimal around 2.5 bits per weight, in the sense that larger models compressed to this bit width outperform smaller models compressed to higher bit widths, resulting in similar model sizes in gigabytes. One other benefit of quantization is the computation speedup. Since many GPU operations are memory transfer bound, a decrease in model sizes is entailed by faster processing times. We implemented the efficient inference kernels for a number of QLM setups and evaluated their performance on the LAM text generation, obtaining the results you can see in the table. QLM shows as much as 2.5 speed up compared to FP16 baseline. A number of events have occurred after the initial results publication concerning both the method's performance and adoption. First and foremost, Following XULM's success with post-quantization fine-tuning and QuipSharp, the strongest performing competing extreme compression method adopted a more sophisticated end-to-end fine-tuning technique of its own that greatly boosted its performance. In turn, the same technique was applied to QLM, greatly improving its performance as well. In the end, QLM and QuipSharp exhibit very similar performances, with mostly non-significant differences across the board. On another note, QLM has been integrated into transformers. Coupled with a large number of quantized models published on the hub, QLM found widespread adoption in the local LLMs community. We encourage everyone interested in running large language models locally to try it out. Thank you for your attention.